Snake, there's something I've really got to ask you. It's why I followed you up this far. Have you ever... loved someone? That's what you came to ask? No, I mean, I, I was wondering if even soldiers fall in love. What are you trying to say? I want to ask you... Do you think love can bloom, even on a battlefield? Yeah, I do. I think at any time, any place, people can fall in love with each other. But... If you love someone, you have to be able to protect them. I think so too. Classic mode! Snake! Peter, what are you doing?
Ready? Go! What are you doing? Myself. Snake, what's going on out there? Could it be? Yeah!
Final results. Classic mode. Snake, you know who that is? You're kidding, right? It's Mario. Mario made his first appearance in 1981, and since then, he's become a worldwide phenomenon. There's probably not a single person who doesn't know Mario. He's that famous. <sighs> Good thing I survived long enough to meet him on the field of battle, huh? This is a once-in-a-lifetime chance, Snake. Now get out there and show him what you're made of. No regrets. Got it. Snake, watch out! For what? That pink marshmallow? That's Kirby, also known as Kirby from Dreamland. He's from another planet. In other words, an extraterrestrial. He's got a powerful stomach that lets him swallow and digest anything. And he also has a copy ability that allows him to mimic opponents, steal their moves, and use those moves against them. On top of that, he has the power to fly around the stage. So once he's got you in his sights, there's no place to run. Uh -huh. Yeah, got it. I'll keep an eye out. Hey, that's Captain Falcon, isn't it? Good eye, Snake. He's F-Zero pilot number seven. You know, seeing Captain Falcon here reminds me, we should do that thing we've always wanted to try. Oh, yeah, that thing. Good idea. Okay, ready, go. Falcon punch. Falcon kick. Otacon, who's the guy with the sword? That's Link. He's the hero of Hyrule. That blade in his hand is called the Master Sword, also known as the Blade of Evil's Bane. He also has a whole arsenal of items at his disposal. Bombs and arrows, a shield, a boomerang. He's a force to be reckoned with. Gear is only useful when it's used at the right time and place. Just lugging a ton of it around doesn't do you any good. I, uh, I wouldn't be talking if I were you, Snake. What's that supposed to mean? You tell me, Mr. Utility Belt. <laughs> Snake, what is it? Something about that hedgehog rubs me the wrong way. Oh, you mean Sonic the Hedgehog? But everyone loves Sonic. He's a big star. Do you have any idea how excited people are that he's here in Brawl? Yeah, I know. But there's something about him I just don't like. But why? You must have some kind of reason. Nope. Just don't like him. This guy kind of gives me the creeps. That's Wario, Snake. Wario first appeared as Mario's rival, but he really made his name in the WarioWare games. Watch out for Wario's bite. It's not just damage you take from it. What do you mean, Colonel? Wario loves garlic. He eats whole cloves of it day and night. So try not to get caught in his mouth. 
Once that smell gets on you, it'll stick to you for quite a while. Ooh, that's a scary thought. He also attacks by farting. He can fart to fly around, too. By farting? Are you kidding me? Sadly, no, I am not kidding. If his belly starts to bulge, watch out. This is Snake. Copy, Snake. This is Slippy. What? Who is this? What are you, some kind of frog? Easy there, buddy. Just thought I'd hop on the wireless and give you a holler. Don't get mad. Hacked right into my channel, huh? But I'm not here to mess nothing up. Don't worry. <sighs> Just so you know, Falco uses a blaster and reflector that I designed, just like Fox does. But Falco will kick his reflector and send it flying around. Just showing off if you ask me. No reason a weapon can't have more than one use. In fact, I'd say its versatility shows how well you designed it. Hey, maybe so. I feel all fuzzy now. Thanks, Snake. Maybe next time we meet, you can design me a weapon.